Hi guys, my name is Diana, and welcome to the holiday edition of Inno Games TV. On this episode, we bring you a bunch of fun goodies, including the winner of the Kindle Fire tablet. Who will win it? Well, stay tuned to find out. We start the show off with Elvenar giving you a glimpse into the future. Then, we move over to Forge, where game designer Pear introduces to you their winter event. After that, Travel Wars 2 sums up their Q&A session over on their Facebook page. Later, game designer Niels from Grepolis shows you some of the new features in the game. Last but not least, Tuma from Travel Wars reintroduces to you Castle Assault. With the end of the year coming up, all of us are wondering what the next year will bring, especially Timon, game designer of Elvenar, who recently found a special magic ball that tells you the future. Let's go to them and see what it says. Hello Evna players, it's Timon and Oli from the Evna team. 2015 was a very exciting year for all of us. We launched our game worldwide and added a bunch of cool features. We added the fellowships, the Dwarf Guest Race and the Ancient Wonders. What's in for 2016? Timon, something you might see in your crystal ball? I see a lot of work for us, Oli. Three big features. All of them already in development right now. I can't see clearly yet in which order they will be released. Mm. There will be another guest race. I see farms. I see lots of beautiful flowers in all Elvenar cities. I see new military units. What is that? Oh, uh, and the next feature. It's, it's brimming with magic and relics. I can see players forging relics into spells. What, what kind of spells? What do they do? The image fades. Give me that ball. I want to see it too. I can only see the world map. Wait, neighbors playing together with each other in provinces? Wow, are we really throwing such precious rewards around? What kind of event is this? Wait, I want to see more. I guess we have to wait for another episode to find out what this all was really about. For now, the Elvena team wants to give a big thank you to all of you who have been playing Elvena for all the fun, for all the feedback you gave us and for the passion you showed us. We wish you a Merry Christmas and keep on playing! And now it's time to reveal the winner of last month's Kindle Fire competition and the winner is Jonathan Rutherford. Congratulations, Jonathan. You'll receive this in your mailbox and we're sure you're gonna like it. Now, let's go over to Pear, game designer of Forge of Empires, who will introduce to you their winter event. Happy winter time, Forge fans. My name is Pierre Kröger. I'm a game designer of your beloved game and winter is coming to town. That means we have our all year's annual winter event uh, that has actually launched already. So uh, if you logged in already, you saw that Frosty is in town and he has a series of quests for you, a new quest every day. And if you do the tasks for Frosty, if you do what he asks you, then you will get stars. And with these stars, you can get into this window here and there you can open presents. Every day there is a new um, set of presents. Every day there is a new exciting special reward hidden among them. And you can use your stars to open those presents. If you get lucky, you'll find a special reward or something else that is cool. Or you can find one of our special tiles that is hidden among the presents. Um, check this one, show two that reveals the contents of two other presents. Or look at this one, that is the shuffle. That means all the presents that were currently opened are hidden again and shuffled again. So you need to start looking for the one you like again. That also means you can find the good reward that you already opened another time. So if you find the special reward that you're looking for among the daily presents, that means you can get it as many times as you want and as many times as your luck allows and as many times as you have stars. Keep your eyes open for these awesome two new winter buildings that are hidden among the presents. This is the Winter Pyramid, a very pretty new building, and the Reindeer Sleigh. Also, at the end of the quest line, as in every year, you can update your confectionery into the Great Confectionery, or the Great Confectionery into the Huge Confectionery, or the Huge Confectionery in the all-new Legendary Confectionery. 
There's also a really, really cool, really exciting new feature that is available on the mobile platforms only, and that is snow. So we're gonna actually make it snow in your city of Forge of Empires. So whenever you do something in the event window, whenever you open a present and you return to your city, um, you see that snowflakes are slowly falling down. And you can even play around with this. This is a little bit like a, like a snow globe. So tilt it to the side and you see that your snow globes still come at you. Um, great fun. And also, if you look at it for a while, you'll see that your whole city will slowly be covered in snow. It will turn all white, it will be very pretty, very winterish. So check out the event on the mobile version of the game. All right, people, that's it for now. That is uh, our winter event of this year. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Uh, play it, have fun, have your city covered in snow, and happy winter time. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Uh, the winter time. But now, let's go over to Tribal Wars 2, who recently had a Q&A session over on their Facebook page, and Community Manager David will sum it up for all of you that didn't see it. Hello Tribal Warriors, I'm David, the Lead Community Manager for Tribal Wars 2. We recently had a Facebook Q&A where Killian, our game designer, and I sat down and answered some of your questions. For those of you who couldn't make it, I'm recapping the most important topics right here. That's a very good question and uh, you guys are asking this over and over again because we simply released the wiki article way too early. Back then, we were still in beta and the feature wasn't done. The feature is still not done. Um, the concept phase uh, has to be finalized before we can release all the juicy details. Once we've done that, we count on your feedback. Uh, this is very important for us because you are our hardcore players and we want to make it right. So let's move on to the next question. The whole team is playing the game and I'm not going to tell you where because you probably want to try to crush us and you would fail because we have tons of villages and we're super strong. That's right. Um, but we also realized that um, having 200 villages or even more, like some of us do, um, it becomes a real pain managing your account. And um, other games, namely Tri Wars 1, has super awesome mass screens to you know, massively recruit your units or construct your buildings. And uh, I can tell you we're working on this. We're writing the concepts for this right now. Uh, I can't give you an ETA, but this will come definitely next year. See you there. Next question. Tribes are very important for the game. It's called Tribal Wars 2 for a reason. So um, yes, we are working on a noble planner. And um, this is essentially the most important communication tool for your tribe because you want to know who's claiming which village. You want to know where you have to attack next. So the Noble Planner is coming sometime next year. I agree. The battle system is very complex. I created a tutorial video a while ago which is already outdated because we changed a few things here and there and we just released a major patch on beta, the balancing update too. If you guys don't have a beta account yet, go create one. We need your feedback. It's very important. Um, and there's also new players out there who don't really understand the battle system because they haven't played as much. But then there's awesome battle simulators that you guys created that they can use. It's super awesome. So thanks for your passion. Thanks for your questions. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the battlefield. Thank you, David. That was very helpful. And for those of you that still have questions, please leave them in the comment section below. But now, let's go over to Niels from Gatolis, who will talk to you about some features that are in the game and some that will come to you soon. Hey guys, I'm Niels, game designer of Grapolis. And today I'm going to talk to you about some features which we already brought to you and those which we'll bring to you in the game. First of all, we reworked the daily login bonus. We decreased the time you have to successively log in down to 7 days. We added the mythical goblet to the daily login bonus which will present you some awesome rewards. Especially have a look on the 7th day. From the mythical goblet you will also receive pretty cool items. Which are coins of war, coins of wisdom or even some gold. Concerning those rewards we would really be happy if you would share your feedback on the forums with us. Please go there, tell us what you like and what you don't like. The next big thing is the night mode, which you have been asking for quite a long time. And finally, it's there. 
It was a task our artists loved to work on for you guys. Now take a look at the beautiful Senate at the night and see those priests here in the shining light of those torches praying to his god. But now log in just to the game and see the beauty of the night mode for yourself. And there's even more for you guys. On the mobile app you were asking for a special feature for a long time. And now it's possible for you to reserve and mark cities on the map as well. That's making it a lot easier to get an overview who's aiming for which city to conquer by the different markers you will see. And that's not even all of it. We've prepared a Christmas calendar for you with a Wheel of Fortune and thereon you will find pretty cool prizes which you can get. I wish you a Merry Christmas and see you next year in the game. You asked for it and now it's back. Travel Wars recently redid their Castle Assault event based on your feedback. So now let's go over to Tuma who will talk to you more about that. Hi, I'm Tuma from Travel Wars. Do you remember that time when someone built a castle in your neighborhood and you had to go and destroy it? Well, apparently they didn't learn the lesson because they're back. Castle Assault returns, you're going to be able to join the event, destroy the castle again, earn some medals and maybe even help your tribe in the meantime. The Castle Assault is a little bit different from last time. Your mercenary improve, so there is no cooldown where you use them. You still get 16 maximum and you still have to wait 30 minutes before you get a new one, but you can now use them in all the different areas without waiting. The principle of the event is still the same as last time. You need to use your mercenaries to make progression in the different areas, finally destroy the castle and raid the medal that are inside. You will also get medals depending on your ranking in the three different areas. A new part in the event is that you can also help your tribe Every time you earn medals, it goes in a general gate for your tribe and when a certain level is reached, a bonus is unlocked for 48 hours for the whole tribe. Once you have earned some medals, you can use them to buy items in the event shop. We created some brand new items for the events. We are also using some classic items that we know you appreciate and we also reuse some of the old items that were successful during the last events. This time around, the different area require a little bit less mercenary to activate than previously, and this should result in you being able to destroy even more castles than last time. The event will last for 14 days, and it will have quests and achievements like the last time. Once the event is over, you will still have 48 hours to use your medals in the event shop to buy some more items. The items remain after the event. So have fun, and go assault the castle again. Well, that was it for the holiday edition of InnoGames TV. Make sure to join us next month, where we will show you some of the funniest outtakes from this year, which you won't want to miss. In the meantime, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, and Twitch to keep up with the latest news on all our games. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.